Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer. Welcome back to Tennis Manager. We're on episode 31. Cousin Seva, as we kick off the start of this episode, levels up her serve accuracy now to a level 12. She's on the verge of footwork coming up, and then the hot shots are coming along as well. So a lot of good things happening. She's down to those last two skills under 10, and they're both at sevens. So we will definitely be working on those in the near future just to get everything at least to that mid-level. I don't know. Just landmark. It's nothing but a landmark, but getting that at seemingly at 50 percent should make her at least okay at everything and i think that's a good place to start uh, ita meanwhile slowly progressing along gallus sees her anticipation hit a level 12 that's a good thing speed not far off from 10 she's getting better uh, and another twenty thousand stolen by the shareholders they are very very happy with the income that's coming in right now of course we've had some big investments from them in the past so it's all good not a massive concern but you know they just keep taking money almost once a month now and next up we now look to the future a higher level we did not spend long at the 115s though i think we still have some 115s on the calendar up ahead of us but I think we're somewhere in between the 115s and the 140s now as a regular place to go because, well, our first 140 tournament, and we are already a number one seed for this. If we go up against the ninth seed right off the bat, though. That's going to make it a little bit trickier. But looking down just a little bit, you can see our three seeds of 117. A lot higher ranked players overall for this tournament. Still small prize money. I mean, we're, we're not talking about much. 140 points in terms of World Tour points. It's not massive, but let's see how she does. How, how does she fare with a 140 level tournament? Of course, this is all coming off the simulation. They've never gone head to head. This player, Awuva, not looking very good, but ranked 151st. A lot of red out there, but somehow stays competitive and keeps up a higher ranking than others at 24 years of age. And she took us the distance. We lose the first set, 3-6, but we do come back 6-4, 6-3, 10 aces, and 4 double faults, 54 winners to 46. So she looks a lot like us, where she's can beat you, but not very consistent. And of course, us, 29 unforced errors. That's actually the most we've seen in a while for Kasanseva. Ouch, Gallus. Second time in a very short period of time has picked up a second minor injury. It's just pain in the shoulder, but really, I, that's that's two in barely over a month. Wow. Unseated, uh, two, three hundred in the rankings, way, way down there. And Kostaseva drops the second round match. Only 43% of points won, three aces, one double fault. 29 winners to 33, so she was way down from where she normally is. 18 on first errors to 16. It's a little surprising how poor she actually played. I mean, there's no standout there. It was only 18 on first errors. She didn't beat herself. But Via Venture didn't necessarily beat us either. She only had 33 total winners. I mean, nothing about that suggested that she was outstanding. One thing that stands out is breakpoints converted. Kassenseva just one for six. Wow, but the adventure four for four in that department. So she really did take advantage when she had opportunities to score. And otherwise it was pretty close. And I mean, you know, look at that first one, five, seven. It goes into a tiebreaker and there's no extra number over the top. So she scored nothing in that tiebreaker. So, uh, you know, seemingly it could have been five, five and everything hanging in the balance and then all of a sudden she just went on this cold streak and then got hammered in the second one maybe overly disappointed mental mental stress mental collapse in that one i wouldn't be surprised and we go for something a little bit bigger this time it was an invite it's a 470 premier tournament in the united kingdom and our first round matchup is going to be challenging we are not seated the next round is potentially against somebody who is seated. They got a buy. They're only slightly ranked above us. But a first round match is against somebody who's only four spots below us in the rankings. So we're very excuse me, very much in the mix on this one. But probably not going to get terribly deep. Can we get through these first two? Possibly. Yoana Coda is uh, possibly awaiting us if we can make it to the route of 16. I'm not sure we're going to get that far. Can we even get past the first one? Eh, I don't know. 
balanced match. So it looks like we're looking for something balanced. 26 year old, never gone head to head, not much green. So what can we do in this one? We'll see. It's out in the first three, six, four, six, back to back losses. Only 31. We actually outplayed her in winners. Unforced errors was not that high, but we still come out on the losing end. Serve points one, 58%, but return points, not very good in return. Still pays out a bit better than our other tournaments with 4,000, despite getting knocked out in the first round. That's kind of the advantage of playing a larger tournament. Anytime you do that, you're going to get that bonus. You're going to see that bonus along the way. Uh, you can see the lob and the hot shots, the only things that need to get into double digits. All the physical attributes are now 12+, plus. natural fitness up to a 16, mental attributes 11+, plus, except for the untrainable ones that we are waiting for that natural progression to come along. Outside of return and drop shot, everything else, uh, well, and spins, I guess, at 11, everything else is 12+, plus. Uh, but that lob and hot shot, we need to get those developed a bit further. Right, two and a half stars, so you know, looking good for that development of our early bloomer how high can we get her up there is is kind of the big thing she is loyal determined and a competitor if if only she would develop this area uh, she'd be pretty dang good but anyway short term let's get that lob and the hot shots going uh, let's keep working on the return i think is another one we need to to bring up a bit because clearly that is something that the better uh players have exposed on us a little bit is that she doesn't have a great return i was showing a return already at a level 10 but according to this we're just now hitting that level speed really sees a big jump 33 percent there as well reflexes also going up so good training week after the uh, post tournament and it's the london championships aka wimbledon except for it's london canada good job game for sneaking that one in on us Kazantseva now sitting at 60th overall, goes up against the 85 seed in the round of 128. Difficult second round, potentially. Let's see if we can get past the first with the quick sim, and then we will watch the second round matchup. Hopefully that can happen for us, but it's been a rough stretch for us. 6-4, six, 6-3, six, three, six, three. we do get three. We do get through. We win all three sets, 54 winners, 26 on first errors, but for three sets, that's not that bad. 11 aces that's pretty solid we do get through we've made it into the next round sloan steple steplens next 22 seed 23rd ranked player in the round of 64 yeah this one's gonna be tough let's go ahead and let this one play out though high return intensity okay we'll turn that up a bit all right so i do have to play this one super fast uh this is a little too fast though isn't it <laughs> we'll play the first set crazy fast uh i have to leave for a soccer game in mere minutes so uh, i i am cramming this one in as that first set is going neck and neck five five and we've got advantage but we've lost advantage it's back and forth and then we drop it five six we get back to six six we take it to the tiebreakers and we've got a real shot we do we win the first set nicely done that one uh, we really squeaked that thing out but we did come away with it we've got a chance to break here no we don't now all of a sudden we're down two games back in this thing no not quite drag it behind now we draw level at four four but we just can't seem to hold now at five five six five holy cow we have a chance to get this second set tiebreakers yet again losing losing the opening two games of this third set though all that momentum seems to be gone we are still pumped both are a little bit tired and our opponent is troubled so uh, Good things are happening with that. Can we still get back in this thing? You know what? I'm, I'm going to have to just keep speeding things up. Sorry, I really do need to leave here in just a second. 2-2. Two, 3-2. Two, two, two. In control of the third set. 6-2. We've got it. That is two sets. That should be enough, but it's not these grand slams. They do play best of five. Real life might not be the case, but they do in this game. Fourth set. Tied at one apiece. Neck and neck. Continuing on. Starting to get control a little bit. Having better natural fitness. Seems to be helping. In situations like this. 5-2. On the verge. And there it is. 
we come out the victor today. Let's go straight into the end because, you know, I don't have much time here. It's the round of 32 unseated player who got through via forfeit when they were ahead, but then losing in the final set. And then the forfeit comes against the 11th seed. So they played pretty dang well to be that tight, even if they were going down. Round of 32 is going to have a decent payday regardless. I'll go ahead and simulate this thing. And what a battle as we go all the way to five sets, but we do come out the loser. Really sad because we were up 6-3, 6-2. We had two sets. We were just one set away, and then we lose three straight. 90 total winners, 53 unforced errors to 45. That's that's kind of rough. But we go down. We got pretty deep in this tournament. That's got to pay out quite well, and it does. 117,409. If we're in it for the money, that was a great way to go, and this is probably going to boost our ranking quite a bit. But that is going to do it for this one. I know it's a short episode today, but hey, it is what it is. At least I got it in late Sunday evening recording. I, I already missed one episode yesterday for the Idol Manager series, but at least I was able to squeeze this one in. Still busy, busy, busy. I, I just, things just can't seem to lighten up for me right now. It will. My time will come. Anyway, I'm Kathleen Gaber. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. Bye for now.